Welcome back to the last building up simulation. Yeah, that might be the last build up for this course, but hope this is gonna be or even has been a starting point for you to build up lots of new ideas, unit operations and processes. The introduction video did make sense of understanding the process. Say, so our scope is to work on this process and make the transportable stream, right? So, what we have to do in this complexity is just opening a spin hysis on your desktop. Then, welcome the popular and lovely view here. And now, start a new case and wait for the simulation basis manager. Yeah, that will be the last time we mention the needed step within the simulation basis, but I promise you will really miss that. Alright, since all of you are aware of importance of property package and component list for starting the simulation building up, we can start with defining the property package. Because of the field we are interested and also the content that we are working with is full of hydrocarbons, so you will need to choose the Peng Robinson equation of state. And last time for this, come to the properties environment always waiting for us right over here, and then click on fleet packages tab and use add button. Scroll it down. Mm, yeah, Pam Robinson. Well, all the elements of component list that we're gonna add are relied on Peng Robinson equation of state. So what are you waiting for? Click on the component list of the properties environment. Now, one more click on component list one. And add the following components. Nitrogen, carbon dioxide, methane, ethane, propane, isobutane, normal butane, iso and normal pentane, normal hexane, normal heptane and normal octane. Nice, really loving this blue color. Then let's get started. Come and click on the simulation environment. and welcome the blank simulation with its wise friend of object palette. Before adding the main unit operations within this process, we'll need the primordial thing, which our simulation is just based on. That is, of course, feed stream. To add a material feed stream to the simulation, use object palette and drop the blue material stream to the environment. And then name it as feed1. And after that, you will need to enter some data for this stream. First come and define the component fractions by adding the following values. Alright, now come to the conditions page and note that the temperature for this stream is negative 95 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 2275 kilopascal. And also enter 1620 kg mole per hour for the molar flow rate of this stream. See, the total phase for this stream is liquid. Now we're gonna add the second material stream for sending it to the absorption tower. For this, take a material stream from the palette and name it as feed2. Mm, let's use an alternative option for entering the fraction for the components. Come to the composition page and see edit option. Click on that. Then go to the place that the component fractions are written. And then copy those values and come back to the simulation and just paste. <laughs> Excellent. Click OK and come to the conditions page. The temperature is negative 85 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 2290 kilopascal for this stream. With a smaller molar flow rate of 215 kg mole per hour. Well, this stream is also defined. You can see that the V2 stream contains approximately 46% of the vapor inside, right? So that is really interesting what will happen then. The following one is adding the unit operations to the simulation. The first we should add can be called as demethanizer, 
which can be modeled as reboiled absorber operation with two feed streams and an energy stream feed which represents a side heater on the column. To add an energy stream, do the same thing. Take a red energy stream from the pallet this time and call it as EX duty. And add the heat flow of 21 and 5 zeros kilojoule per hour. Yeah, now we are ready for the reboiled absorber. Come to the object palette, search for its name and drop it to the simulation. Now name the absorber as DC1. Then assign the top inlet of feed 1 which was a full liquid as you remember. And enter the optional inlets of feed 2 entering from the second stage and EX duty energy stream which enters from the fourth stage. And by the way, make sure that the number of the stages where the absorption will take place is 10. Then propose the outlet streams, DC1 over head for the vapor outlet and DC1 button for liquid outlet. To make this absorber reboiled, assign an energy stream of DC1 reboiler Q. Well, done with this page and now time to proceed the second page by clicking next. Here we'll estimate the values for pressure both at the top and the bottom. Here our aim is to reach the desired specification and therefore the separation rate. So write down 2275 kilopascal for the top stage pressure and 23 and 10 kilopascal for reboiler. And then by clicking next button we can lead to the temperature estimation. Assign negative 88 degrees Celsius for the top state temperature estimate and 27 degrees for the reboiler. And then click next. Here no information is supplied for boil up ratio, so let's keep it as it is. And finally click done. When you click done button, Aspen Heises will open the column property view, but we'll need to do something. For this, select the monitor page on the design tab. Before converging the column, make sure that overhead product rate specification is active in status with a specified value of 1338 kg mol per hour. And bottom products rate and boil up ratio specifications are estimated. Amazing! Now we can run the column. <laughs> Excellent! Now the column is converged, but it does not mean that everything is on the way. Because you should know that the flow rate specifications are not always reliable. If the column feed conditions change with these specifications, you will probably have some undesirable properties and even not converged column. So this time, we can think about an alternative approach for the column specifications, which can either be component fraction that gives an exact result or component recoveries for the column product streams. In order to do this, Come to the specs page on the design tab of the column property view. Click add button in the column specifications group to create a new specification. In the column specifications types view displays now. Select column component fraction from the list and click the add specs button. This specification is fully related to methane because in this stage we are dealing with the methanizer, right? So name this column specification as C1. Then assign its stage. That is from first tray. And then be sure that the flow basis is small fraction. And you want to take it as vapor with 0 0.96 specified fraction value. And our component is methane of course. Then close the view. Now actually we are not able to see the effects of this new specification because of its status, right? So to see how Heises treated our target in the simulation, come back to the monitor page of the design tab. Deactivate the specifications of overhead product rate and activate the component fraction instead. The column is automatically converged. To see what really Heises did in this stage, just come to the simulation environment on the left and open workbook window. Yep, 
we got full liquid stream and approximately half liquid phase stream. Mix them and got the pure vapor and liquid. All right, then you can come to the composition page. Wow, really impressive result. Our specified value for methane fraction for overhead product stream was 0.96, right? But see that. So, Heises did make the calculations by working on this number. You can also open the column view again by double clicking and see the performance tab. Here, column profiles page helps you to observe the reflux and boil up ratios, then the temperature, pressure and even net flow rates of the liquid and vapor at each stage or tray of the column. Yeah, after this tiring staff, we can break this part and have a beat rest. Say, so take a rest, try to understand the amazing approach of Hyces to this process, and finally get ready to say goodbye to build up simulation. See you in the second build up.